What's going on guys? Justin here with Everything Aquarium back with another video. Today's video is going to be kind of random for me. That being said, as in I seen a post on Facebook and one of the local aquarium groups about um, surface agitation, oxygen exchange, um, air pumps, stuff like that. And uh, I wanted to bring to the table what I use for oxygen exchange for agitating the surface of the water to release, you know, carbon dioxide and introduce oxygen into the aquarium. So with that being said, let's jump right into today's video. I'm sure you've never seen a bubbler in my tank before besides on a sponge filter. So uh, today you'll be able to uh, figure out why that exactly is. So stay tuned. And just like that, we're at the 75. Please don't mind algae. I have a little bit of a problem. Uh, repeat I have a problem so please don't pay attention to the algae thank you anyways now that that's out of the way <laughs> here is the uh, circulation pump um, power head whatever you want to call it um, laminar flow pump that's another one what else do they call it laminar flow pump that's what they call it anyways this is a maxi jet 900 series um, let me show you the box real quick 900 series meaning that it is a uh, 900 I don't know let's call it 900 series anyways the power head mode 230 gallons per hour circulation pump mode which is what you see here a thousand gallons per hour they claim which is a little bit off for me but anyways it works and then a four foot maximum head height meaning if you put this pump like this on the ground and ran a hose from the pump four feet up that's as far as it could physically pump the water before stalling out and being in kind of just a limp mode phase uh, it changes into three varieties. You can change it from power head mode to circulation pump mode to utility pump. What you see in this picture is power head mode. Or excuse me, yeah, power head mode. This is laminar flow mode or circulation pump mode. And then on the uh, 55, it's kind of a mix between the power head and utility pump mode, which means it just has that little diffuser at the end. Um, anyways, no air bubbler, no air pump, no air hose, no air stone. And I'll show you why. This is $10. Look at that surface breakage that we have there. That's that's really something just for a $10 pump. It's hard to tell on camera, but I mean, that's that's an inch, inch of, of water pumping up. And that's not even set fully. I mean, if you really wanted it to rip and you had a power outage recently or something like that, and you really want to get some oxygen going, I mean, that, that thing, will, that'll go everywhere. A little dramatic but um yeah that that's really that's a lot of power for ten dollars and you can't beat that to get that kind of power with a bubbler air stone uh air pump setup you're looking at probably fifty dollars minimum and that's probably for a used one um and you can't beat it ten dollars i mean even if you got a if you got a ten dollar air pump versus this you're going to get something not even close to this and these fish are going to run out of oxygen and die so that's why i choose to use this that's just my option my choice or my uh, opinion my option my choice whatever you want to call that um so what i like to do builds up some algae on there because of the high flow but you just can't you can't beat that that surface tension breakage you can't beat it with an air pump and anyways that's why i choose to go with that but uh that's pretty much it for now guys i'll leave a link down in the description for this it was ten dollars last time i checked they have a bunch of different ones I have a 700 series, which is a little bit, a little bit weaker, I guess you would call it, a little bit smaller. And like I said, it says three different modes. So if you're working on something, you want to drain water out quick, you unhook that, put the impeller on instead of the propeller, and uh, the impeller housing, and then it pumps water right out of it into your bucket or into your sink, whatever you want to do, and you don't even have to pay attention to it until you're ready to. And uh, yeah, awesome thing, awesome product. There's multiple different varieties of this out there. This is, you know, the low end range just because they're cheap. It's a good, it's it's a mid range product for a low end price is what I would call it. Um, and that's because they're just produced in mass, mass quantity. Um, you can go, you can go even lower to uh, an Amazon brand that you never heard of. Uh, quality like that. Amazon, no, no quality as I would call it. Or you can go all the way up to like Ecotech. Uh, Ecotech uh, Marine has uh, the magnetic version where you put the uh, magnetic housing on the outside and then the impeller housing and all that stuff goes on the inside the wet side dry side kind of thing and you know those could be up to up to three hundred dollars i've seen them before but it all depends on what you want this is good enough for me you know it's suction cup mount swivel mount whatever you want to do 
So anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you feel like you've learned something. And uh, you know, share the video. Show everybody why they should switch over to laminar flow pumps instead of bubblers, air pumps, air hoses, air stones, everywhere. You know, get rid of that stuff. Anyways guys, that's it for now. We'll see you later.